Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Putin of the fifth column. Um, if you missed it, in a recent address, Putin used the term fifth column. Um, uh, because of that, my, my inbox filled up pretty quickly. Um, I'm fairly certain it had absolutely nothing to do with me, but that doesn't change the fact that a whole bunch of people sent messages asking about the origin of the term. Uh, generally, it, it means a small group or organization that is intent on undermining a larger group or organization from within. That's what it means. Uh, for me, I want to say seven or eight years ago, there were a uh, whole bunch of journalists who were concerned about gatekeeping within journalism. One of the original stories using the term fifth column had to do with a general who was approaching a city and in an attempt to get it to surrender, he said, you know, I have four columns, one approaching from the north, the south, east, and west, and a fifth column inside the city ready to open the gates. So if you're a journalist concerned about gatekeeping, well, it made sense. I, I continued to use the term. That's not what Putin was talking about either. He was talking about uh, the larger group being Russia itself, and the fifth column being the protesters who are speaking out against his disastrous war, his ill-conceived, ill-planned, ill-prepared, ill-fated adventure into Ukraine. That's who he's talking about. Um, now, the reality is this invasion, it, it reduced Russia. It reduced Russia's stature. Russia was on the verge of, of being a, a superpower again. It could have happened. Instead, it... It's become a military laughingstock. A military that was once respected is now synonymous with a meme about tractors. And it's undermined the standing on the international stage to the point where, at best, it walks away from this a major power, not a superpower. And at worst, if he doesn't, if he doesn't end this soon, it is incredibly likely that Russia becomes a failed state. So, while I disagree with the idea that those protesters are a fifth column within Russia, I do believe there is a fifth column within Russia. It's Putin and his oligarchs. If you're talking about a small group of people who are undermining a large group from within, it's them. It's not the people out there speaking. It's those who, for the sake of their own ego, refuse to face reality, refuse to accept the fact that their corruption, their ineffective leadership, brought a, an incredibly powerful country to its knees. Putin is the fifth column. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.